What is going on everybody? It's your boy Abdullah coming at you with another video for the channel and welcome back to the DMV Sports Zone. And then today guys, I'm coming at you with a reaction to some news that came out a couple of days ago. NFL expert or expert, but they like, he calls himself um, Mel Kuyper Jr. came out with his uh, first official mock draft and he has us, the Washington football team, taking the first quarterback, which is Malik Willis, Willis from Liberty. So... I'm about to give you guys my reaction to that if I like it or not. But before I do that, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, more DMV Sports content. And let's get straight to the video. Welcome back to DMV Sports Zone. Chased down by Beal in the corner for three. Gets there fouled go. and hits. Welcome to DC. Welcome to the So guys, I'm just going to like read off what he said in the article, just like a summary. So he says, time for the first quarterback off the board. You might be surprised that it's Willis, but you really shouldn't be. He was in the QB1 mix all fall before he faded a little bit in the last stretch of the regular season. The more tape I watch of his past two seasons, the more I talk to the evaluators in the league, the more I like him. But sim put it simply, Willis is the most talented quarterback in this class. He didn't always get to show that at Liberty, which didn't have much NFL talent around him. He was sacked an astonishing 51 times in 2021. This is a dual threat signal caller. He rushed for 1,822 yards and 27 touchdowns over the past two seasons. That is pretty impressive. With a powerful arm. He does have a powerful arm. I'm really excited to see him compete against the other top QBs in senior ball in a couple weeks. Like Denver, Washington could be in the veteran QB market, but I like to fit with Willis. Washington can go into the season with Taylor Heineke as a starter. That is one thing that I agree with Mel Kuyper on as well. I think we need to bring in a veteran quarterback, and if we don't do that, then draft a rookie. But um, I'll be honest, guys. Malik Willis, I'm just not sold on him. He is really, really raw. and I just don't think Scott Turner, as stubborn as he is as a play caller, will design and call plays for his strengths. He just, we all know Scott Turner, he likes the experienced quarterback, and I just don't think Malik Willis is that type of quarterback in DC. I think he does have the highest ceiling. Um, a comparison, I mean, I'm not gonna say Lamar Jackson, but he has the same frame as Justin Fields, 6'1", 215. And again, we can talk about playing at Liberty, but he's a dual threat, you know, Last year, he had an amazing game against Virginia Tech, against my team. But at the same time, I just, if we talk about his weaknesses, he doesn't have the ability to throw the ball in the middle of the field. He can't sense pressure, hence the 51 uh, sacks that he had uh, faced. And, you know, sometimes he spins and jukes for no apparent reason. And even while on the open field, he has the, has the, uh, problem of fumbling when he is running ball security that's a really big problem in the NFL he doesn't consider the running back w during a read option and he never throws the ball away he always tries to make the big play he doesn't change speed depending on the throw so those are his big weaknesses his strengths you know great speed and shiftiness you know exclusive elusive and agile as a runner he can dodge defenders and he has a a deep, a big arm. He can slang it like Michael Vick style. Um, he's good on quarterback draws and scrambles, and he's just really athletic. And outside the numbers, he can sling it as well. But I just, he's really raw, and I don't think he's the answer. A guy that, of course, I've said it many times, Kenny Pickett, a fifth-year senior, I think it's a way better fit in Washington compared to Malik Willis because I'm not saying he gives me Dwayne Haskins vibes, but... I just want a quarterback who's experienced. You know, Malik Willis, those two great seasons at Liberty. I don't think we take him at pick 11. And I don't know why Mel Kuyper said he was going to be the first quarterback off the board. Maybe it would change, like, you know, during the senior bowl and after the combine as well. But again, Malik Willis, I just don't think he's the real deal. And, you know, we can't have this cycle where we just have failed quarterbacks again and again. And going back to him being raw, we suck at developing quarterbacks, guys, straight up. And now we have Scott Turner as the offensive coordinator. 
he's not going to be any help. I really think an experienced quarterback is the way to go. I don't think it's Malik Willis. Now, he could have arguably the highest ceiling out of all these quarterbacks. But again, he is super raw, guys. It's not something that you just put him in the fire and he's just going to ball out immediately. This fan base is impatient. And we have the right to be impatient for the past 20 years. That quarterbacks that we've seen, the amount of debacles and all the failed experiments. I mean, we deserve to have a quarterback right now. And I don't think Malik Willis is the guy. I want you guys to let me know your thoughts about his mock draft. I just, I love uh, his play style, but at the same time, if you can't throw the ball and you have problems turning the ball over and sometimes are wanting to make the big play and you know, you're young, it's gonna be tough. I wouldn't say him, like he's raw also at the aspect of competition as well, as well because you know, playing at Liberty, it's not nothing compared to, you know, the SEC or the ACC. And we saw when Ole Miss played Liberty, he struggled. Again, El Kuyper said that he doesn't have NFL talent around him. But at the same time, you just got to put stuff into consideration. He's like sort of like the Trey Lance of this year, you know, not playing at a big school. But again, I just don't think he's – he should be the first quarterback on the board. And I think I've said this before, and it's I said this on our – I made a TikTok about this. Follow our TikTok account, DMV Sports Zone. I said my QB rankings, Kenny Pickett, Desmond Ritter, Sam Howe, Matt Corral, and Malik Willis. Malik Willis is my number five. I'm not big on him, guys. I, I don't know. I just don't see it. A very raw prospect, and we better not take him at pick 11 because fans are going to go nuts. I haven't heard any good things about him, of course, besides being athletic and having a big arm. But we'll see, man. I don't know, guys. This draft, this offseason is going to be really interesting. Ron talked about how he needs a quarterback. And I'm telling you guys, if Ron Rivera goes into next year with and we have another losing season, three losing seasons in a row, I, he, he might actually be on the hot seat. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's pretty much it, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe more DMV sports content. And yeah, peace. Please don't draft Malik Willis.